So you clicked on this video because you probably want to run some fucking Shopify store. You want to make some bank and call your ex-girlfriend and be like, yo, I'm rich now. All right. And then you go through the process and then you see, well, okay, I got to run some ads. What strategy is the best way? Because I go on the internet. This guy says this strategy. This guy says that strategy. This blah, blah, blah. You came to the right fucking video and let me tell you why. Because I'm going to give you the no BS testing strategy that you should use. Why? No, not because it doesn't make you more money. Because I'm not someone that lies to you. I'm going to be genuine with you. I tell you the truth. If you're watching videos constantly to see the new testing strategy, like it's like a fucking video game meta, you're going to lose. Okay? Let me tell you that. There is no testing strategy that's going to make you more money. The reason why I'm making this video and the reason why I think this one's going to be good for you, it's because it's simple. That's why it's better because it just makes everything more simple. But will it make you more money? Fuck no. It's your ads that's going to make you more money. It's so funny. You will never go on a fucking YouTube video and you will have some guy, some dickhead like me, who's titled like the best, I don't even know why I'm going to title this video, but like the best Facebook ad strategy and then tell you that there is no best. <laughs> like there is. <coughs> Fuck. We also have no edit, so we're raw dogging this shit. Anyways, I'm going to give you the real key to, to making profitable ads and running profitable ads at the end. Okay, so make sure you stick to it. But I'm obviously going to go through my testing strategy. I'm not going to lie. Like this is actually not even a selling point. But the second I started implementing this strategy, I got my winner. Now, it's not because of this strategy, but it just like while I was scaling, I realized like, thank God I'm going through the strategy because it just makes everything so simple. Okay, so I do have, as you can see, so this is um, this is a document that I have with the community and I have two strategies, but I do one. Okay. And basically is when I start and find a product, right? I like to create three angles. And if you don't know what an angle is, like, let me just sum it up quickly because I had to make a whole separate video on this. But like an angle basically is you're targeting specific people. You're targeting a specific pain point. Whatever your market, like your main marketing angle is, you know, these videos are about targeting back pain. These videos are talking about neck pain. This video is targeting black people. I don't know. Uh, it, you know, those are angles, right? So you come up with three, three of the best angles you think for the product and you create five ads for each angle. So that means you're going to have, if you can see here, you're going to have 15 in total, but you're going to have five ads for each angle. And all you're going to do is basically launch a $50 broad CBO for each angle. Now I'm going to be honest, you can launch them all in the same day. Uh, or you can launch them like a day after each other. I do them a day after each other. So as you can see here, like day one, I launch one campaign, right? Day two, I launch the second campaign. So now the daily spending limit is a hundred dollars. Day three, I um, I launched the third campaign, and now daily spending limit is one hundred fifty dollars. And I, like, if I'm not getting sales by then, because like total, yeah, total spend is gonna be like around three hundred. You just shut it off, bro. Like maybe keep the third the third uh, CBO for like a bit longer, but because you want to give it a bit more than a day. But after this, it's done, you know. But this is really speed running it. Like you know, you're testing, you're testing, you're really giving each product a good test because you're having three different angles with fifteen different creatives. But I do like to cut CBO short though. Like if it's not profitable after like a day and a half. Like, let's say your daily spending limit is $50, right? If you go a day and a half, so it's like around $70 to $80, if you're not getting a sale, bro, just cut it. Hey, you're, it's not a winner. I'm not saying the product's not a winner, but the angle is not a winner. Your ad's not a winner, okay? So here's just like a little diagram, you know, one CBO, one ad, one broad ad set and five different creatives. I'm going to show you, and then... The second strategy, I'm not going to go over it qu just quick. It's just doing the same shit, but put, putting it in a uh, all-in-one campaign. Like you have uh, 
one angle here, two angles here, angle one here, angle two here, angle three here. You see what I'm talking about? But you do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It's just pretty simple. And basically all you do is I just had a shit ton of CBOs. Every time I would launch something, it's a new CBO. One, one ad set, five different creatives. That's it. Just new CBO, new CBO, new CBO. When I was scaling, I had like 20 CBOs in like a matter of a week because every time I would duplicate, it's a new CBO. Every time I would launch new creatives, new CBO. Just new CBOs because, you know, it, it makes it simple for Facebook. It's just like a new, it starts fresh, right? If you don't know how to start a, a CBO, um, basically I have it here. So you're going to uh, create a sales campaign, right? You're gonna go here, you're gonna name the CBO, like whatever. I, I do like the first few letters of the product, CBO, and then you can do angle one, or you can say test one, whatever. I'll make sure to t turn this on, Advantage Campaign Plus. I'm just gonna go through this quick because there's so many videos talking about this and it's fucking garbage. It's just garbage. Yeah, just be, uh, I don't know, ad, ad set, top. I do like ad set, top four, top five, because I do, um, because I do, that's like the top four countries I target. Uh, create a pixel. Yeah, you're going to add your pixel. I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> you're going to set it for the next day at midnight. Um, I'm just going to, because again, I have no edits. So I'm going to go through this quick. You're going to add the top four countries. I like doing the top four countries. I don't know why. It worked for me. I tested top five and top four worked better. And so basically the top four are these and then you're going to have Australia. So New Zealand, basically, I'm fucking off because, I don't know, New Zealand never worked for me. And then, basically, as simple as that, you're going to add your um, ads, right? So you're going to do add one and then duplicate this shit four more times. Boom, right? So I'm going to have one broad CBO, one broad ad set, and then five creatives within it all. And you just got to do is you got to put your URL, your website URL here and and uh, basically that's it. Get the copywriting, like your primary text, your headline. You can do use ChatGPT. It's not that important when you're just uh, doing drop shipping and trying to convert for sales, to be honest. And that's it. Uh, hopefully I didn't fucking bore you because I bored myself. Um, let me tell you the real reason why you're okay. Now I'm going to get to the sauce. Let me tell you the real reason how you're going to make sales. Okay. So because you're going to follow my ad strategy, right? And you're going to do everything broad. You're going to do everything broad, everything, everything broad. How the fuck is Facebook going to know who to target? Right? Well, look, Facebook's very advanced. And I've said this so many times, the algorithm, even though sometimes uh, for ad bands, the AI is so shit, but the algorithm itself has billions of dollars spent on it. It knows what the fuck it's doing, okay? But you gotta help it. So what Facebook algorithm does is that it reads, listens, it basically goes over your ad. It watch. It's like a human being. It watches your ad and says, okay, so this ad should be good for these type of people. So you wanna help Facebook as much as possible. So that's why I'm here to tell you that it's all, all, about your ad script all about your ad script visuals are very important as well that's going to be another video but your ad script is what's going to help facebook target the right customers okay and here i have a good ad script example for you now you don't have to copy it word for word you could i know some lazy fucks will it doesn't matter but just to give you the simple idea the structure on a good ad example that doesn't mean every ad has to be like this okay but the main important thing that i want to show you today is your hook your hook has to call out your customer so therefore when facebook algorithm reads out your hook they'd be like oh yeah this is for these type of people so let's say for an example we have here is this what your laundry routine usually looks like now it's calling out people that do laundry clearly like it's clear or you can have do you have such neck pain after a long day of work it's calling out people with neck pain like it's strictly calling out the people who are gonna benefit from the ad 
if you don't have neck pain and if you don't do laundry, I'm not going to fucking Facebook probably won't even send me this ad. But if it does, I'll just scroll by. Right. I have never done laundry in my life. I'm going to be honest. Like, no joke. I've never done laundry. I love you, mom. I don't do laundry. Okay. I'm going to get an ad. I'm going to read it for the first three seconds. Is this what your laundry routine looks like? I'm going to be in my head. I don't have a laundry routine. This is not for me. But Facebook shouldn't even be sending me this video to begin with, okay? And it won't because it's very good. It's going to be sending videos to people that do laundry, okay? So make sure you spend the first, you take such good care of the first three seconds of what the fuck you're going to say. Take very good care. Like if we're going to put on a graph, the time spent of making an ad, 95% should be focused on the hook. I I guarantee you that because the rest is like the rest is important, but the hook is like the majority of it. Okay, maybe not 95, maybe 90, 85, 85 to 90. It, it's very important, basically. Okay, that's my point. So when you're constructing an ad, read the ad out loud and to, and be like, if I'm a fucking AI, do I know who to target? Like, put it, put yourself in the AI's perspective that's how i work that's how that's how my brain works every time i'm trying to target someone that's how i do it so after you're gonna call out your audience which is like the most important call out the audience call out the pain point whatever it's all the same shit like um are you tired of cleaning your shoes after going for a hike (laughs) cleaning shoes for after hike that's your audience like fucking facebook's gonna read that shit and be like all right i know who to target right okay okay let's continue with the rest so the structure basically is gonna have your hook your product demonstration slash benefits problem which is the result slash dream outcome and then cta it's really simple and look you look at this ad script right i've had this with me my winning ad script that generated me like 50 grand right It looked, it was even shorter than this. It looked simple as fuck. Like I read it and I'm like, bro, am I talking to like children? But you should be. That's how simple it should be. It should be very short, very simple, straight to the point. And trust me, when you put it with an ad, like you have the music, you have the visuals, it actually all plays out well. I know it looks so like, bro, what the fuck is this? How is this going to generate me money? Trust me, it will. So for an example, we're selling laundry detergents, right? I think, yeah. It should be. So is this what your laundry routine usually looks like? Calling audience. Wouldn't you love if it could look like this instead? You're providing them a new solution. Okay, good. One cap, one load. That's why we created cleansing laundry detergent. What it is. You're introducing the product. To help make America's most dreaded chore a little easier. Now, again, you're helping target you're helping Facebook target your customer audience. You mentioned America's most dreaded chore. Um, if you're just targeting US, you can put that. If you're not, don't put it. But if you're targeting just strictly US, you can do that and it'll help Facebook even more. So to help America's most dreaded chore a little easier. So you're emphasizing the problem. You're saying that laundry is the most dreaded chore out there, but your product is going to help that because people need to do it but they hate it so much, but you're here to help them. Simply add a cap full into your wash and let your machine handle the rest. So this is a demonstration of how the product works. Obviously in your ad, you're gonna have the visual of them putting the cap cap full in the washing machine. Like don't have the visual of a banana, you know, like have the copywriting and the visual make sense, you know? No measuring, no mess, no bulky bottles, just pure simplicity. Now you're demonstrating the benefits. The best part, your clothes will come out smelling like a dream. You're showing them the dream outcome slash results. Make the eco-friendly switch to cleansing today at cleansing.com. That's a CTA. It's a very soft CTA. And I like soft CTAs because with aggressive CTAs, Facebook's going to fucking ban you. Do never, never put your offer. Never put any money, percentage, none of that. Just say sale end soon. Runs out today. Check it at x.com whatever it is and that's it now i know you came here to look at the facebook ad testing strategy but i promise you as as someone who's trying to destroy all the brain rock kids who've been like 
grinding guru information. Focus more on this. And I promise you, you'll make more sales on your ads manager. Like, it's not actually what you do on your ads manager. It's this. It's your copywriting. I, like, I, I promise on my, on my life. I don't even know. But this is what it is, okay? So, look, I gave you the simple testing strategy back here. You know, like, I obviously, I attracted you to watch this video. You came for one reason. I gave you the reason. But I'm also now opening your mind and telling you this is not the reason why you're going to make sales, okay? I'm giving you it to make it simple. One broad CBO, one broad ad set within the CBO, three to five creatives. I usually do five. And that's it. Don't touch anything else, bro. Like just put your, just post your ad. It's like posting content, you know, like posting content, letting the algorithm do its rest. You just got to help the algorithm by making good scripts. You know, what's going to piss me off is that this video is going to get like no fucking views, but I hopefully I transferred one person, like one per, at least one person who actually believed that the ad setup is important. And now they don't. That's my goal. One person. I know. Out of like, how many views is this going to get? Like a few hundred? One person. Please. Please. Comment down below if you actually like, if I actually helped you out. Because if I didn't, I'll probably just quit. No, I'm just but anyways, thank you for watching. If you want to know more about this shit, check the link below. I got a community full of sauce, full of resources, full of shit more like this. Full of non-garbage straight up truth about ecom and the community itself like i got some killers in there but besides that if you want check it out if not i still love you and of course as always i'll see you at the motherfucking